This one's going to be on TMUX, the terminal multiplexer. Um, it's kind of hard to explain this, but I'm going to attempt to. That people have never used it. So, TMUX, I always hear people complain about um, why they don't use Quake over um, Yaquake. Because Yaquake, they have this little split terminal feature. And, you know, Quake doesn't have that feature. Or some other people, they say, oh, I use Terminator instead of GNOME Terminal because it has split terminal views and all that. Well, if you use uh, TMUX, that shit won't matter because TMUX is its own program and you have that feature regardless of whatever terminal you use, right? So, I'm giving give an example of what I'm talking about here. Let's say we open uh, GNOME Terminal. And if po for the people who have used this, you know, they don't have um, the split view in here. But it doesn't matter, like I said, because we start TMUX. And now we're in TMUX. It has this little green shit down here. That's how you know you're using TMUX, right? I'll explain that in a minute. But TMUX, uh, they have this thing called the prefix key. I refer to it as the master key. The master key is basically you're telling uh, your terminal that I want to send this hotkey to TMUX right? if you don't press it they don't know that you're telling it to use TMUX so every time you want to send something to TMUX you have to press the hotkey so the default hotkey for the prefix or the master key is control B so remember that control B right, is how you would use this so control B and then quotation marks is to split the terminal here uh, or they call these pings and control B uh, was a percent sign and you have another one how would you navigate between them like right now we're here with this little blinky here but how you get over here and how you get up there because you can actually type on here right now but you can't switch over until you hit control B and an arrow key so the arrow keys is how you would uh, navigate between them so you have to press control B down control B right control B left control B up so you get the idea right uh, and like I said, these are pings and they're all different from each other, right? Um, down here they have this thing called, um, what is it, this little thing in the close and open brackets. This thing is your session, your TMUX session, right? If we start up another one, let's say up here somewhere, TMUX, this one is in, uh, this one's one right here, your session is called one. This one is zero, right? So it's different. The number next to that is this is your window. So right now we're in the home folder, right? If we want to create a new window, it's just control B C for a new window here. Create a new window. Um and let's say we go to a different folder, let's say C D and templates here. And you see they give you like different names of where you're at, right? If you do like man ffmpeg or something, it'll just say man here, just to represent something different. But um, you can see that this one's zero, this one's one, and that's how you would switch between them. So control B zero, control B one, control B zero, just to switch back and forth, you know, just like that. And this one is like, um, you know, independent from the other one also. Uh, but let's go to detaching and, and reattaching so that's a good thing about TMUX you can actually detach and reattach them so our session here is session 0 like I said right if we wanted to detach from this it's control B D see here control B D and there you go we detach from it and that's it for that right here we're on session 1 if we do some other crap in here I don't know what we're gonna do CD I don't know emulators list out some crap. And let's say we detach from this too. Control B D. Um, now we detached it. So we have two sessions going on but we didn't really close them. We just detached from them. If you want to reattach all you gotta do is type in um, TMUX attach and now you're back into uh, session one but how about the other session, the session zero that we had earlier? Well, you can see them too by using um, what is that? Control B S, and these are your current sessions, right? This one is currently attached. It the other one is not, the one with two windows. 
So if you just go up and say hit enter, and there you go, hey, you're back to this one. And control B zero to switch back to that one that we had earlier. Um, so that's that with the detaching and reattaching. If you want to close the window, there's a few ways to do this, or close the pane, I mean, is um, control B X is you want to kill this pane and you hit yes if you want to close off uh, you know without using um, tmux you can just hit control D and just close it like that right and that's how you would close it um, what else is there that we can do oh if you, if you want to look at high keys you just hit control B and then question mark and I'll show you some of the high keys that they have by default to either you know close or do anything and like I said these aren't are um, you know just single letters or numbers or something like that but to use any of this you have to hit the master key first alright or the prefix key which is control B before you hit any of these hot keys otherwise it doesn't work uh, another thing let me go back here is there's this copy mode so right now we can't really scroll up and down right you know if we do it with our mouse it doesn't work uh, so how would you scroll up and down on here scroll up and down you hit um, well there's a few ways but control B page up and now you have this little number up here that's how you know in you're in uh, the scrolling mode or sometimes they call it the, the copy mode right so you have this number here if you push Q to quit out of that you're back to this right but if you want to scroll, control B and then page up. And you can go page up, page down if you want to do that. Alright, page up, page down. Uh, another way to do this is control B and then you have these little brackets. Um, the brackets is this one, the little bracket, this one. The other bracket, this other one here, this one's for pacing. So if you do control B uh, left bracket, this one answers the, the copy mode. And you can use your Vim hotkey, so you know, H, J, K, L. So J and K is to go up here. Let's say I want to copy this virtual box uh, part here. I just hit uh, space and then H to go uh, to the left side here. So I say I copy this one here. Push enter to the one that you want to copy. You know, we already highlighted which one we want to copy. Push enter. Now it's in our um, paste buffer. So now you got to do is press uh, control B and then the other bracket, the right bracket, and then you paste it. So that's how you do the pacing and scrolling and all that. Anyways, that's kind of too long for basics, but if you really want to know more about Tmux, um, go read up on it. All right, but that'll be it for this one. Uh, Tmux, you should use it if you really want to have, you know, split terminals because it doesn't really matter which terminal you use in the future because it's always going to have that feature with Tmux. That's it for this one.